Morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. Well, I'm going to put in a claims form for the Royal Mail. I've never done this before, so I thought it'd be a useful thing to put on the channel. Um, the item didn't cost a lot, it only cost £10. Um, but apparently, when every time I send something off, it says, um, and do it small parcel, it says compensation to up to £20. Um, like I say, I've only ever lost uh, a couple of things before via Royal Mail, and one was like a £2 game, and the other one wasn't a high value, so um, this is why I haven't really sort of bothered with it. But um, let's share the screen, and um, I, I'm completely new to this, so the first thing I'm going to do is stick in Royal Mail claim form. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look see what we get. Right, complete online, complete our online claim form. That looks uh, like what we want. Right, so I have my proof of postage. Um, that's all I've got, and the eBay details. So, was the post was the item posted by Royal Mail? Yes. Um, was it posted to British Forces? No. Was it sent using stamps? Online postage. Yes, it was online postage via eBay. Um, if you use a Franken machine into the die number, was um, was the item sent to an address outside the UK? No, it wasn't. Was it sent to into the UK? No. Please select the product you use to send the item. Uh, that is second class. Um, please enter a tracking tracking reference number. Um, I'm just going to um, go full screen on this so you don't see any of the details but I'm going to pop that in enter a tracking number and that's the barcode number on the proof of postage um, it's also on the eBay order if you if you look at your orders uh, let's make sure I've got that right I imagine this is going to take some little time to sort of go through. Um, now it's asking me for date of posting, which again is on the proof of postage, 5th. Right, let me go back. I think I can go back now. Um, am I a per business or a personal customer? I don't have an online business account actually with the Royal Mail, so um, I guess I'm a personal customer. Um, oh, I'm clicking on my StreamYard screen rather than my... Am I the sender or the recipient? I'm the sender. Is your claim for an item? It is lost. Didn't arrive. Yes, I can provide proof of postage. Um, I've saved these up to my OneDrive. So let's just go to OneDrive. And um, see if I can see it. I can't see it. As I, have I actually sent it up there? Let me pause for a second, if I can remember how to do that. Right, there we go. I've just um, dropped that in from my OneDrive. Just took a photo on my phone. Um, was it sold on an online marketplace? Yes, it was. It was eBay. Have I got the number? OK, again, I'm going to go just go big, just so you don't see this. It's not letting me do that. Let me pause it again. Hang on a second. Oh, there we go. It's because I've got two screens going on. It keeps losing my little cursor. Uh, online market number. So, okay. Let me bring up eBay. Um, yeah, it'd be handy to know how to do this. Like I say, even though this is only a tenner, I'm hoping the process is fairly straightforward. Now, there's one little bit which um, I've kind of got a question mark over, and it's a bit about kind of like proof of value. Um, but I'm kind of just going to, you know, because obviously when you're on eBay um, and you're buying things from boot fairs, um, you don't go around uh, car boot fairs saying, can I have a receipt, please? Um so I'm just going to, well, we'll get to there in a minute, but let's, um, let's stick this number in. Okay. Okay, it's not letting me paste it, so I've got to remember this huge long number. 
Okay, there we go. That's in. Um, let's go back to that. Can I provide proof of the item's value? So, yeah. Hmm. This is a. This is a bit of a weird one. So it says um, basically, if uh, Mrs. Smith, the the buyer, you know, who bought off me, bought a pair of shoes from a shop and paid twenty five pound for them, she she can claim twenty five pound. But if I the sh the shop me um, sells the jeans, but I bought them from someone, um, I can only claim um, what I bought, man, which is ridiculous, really. So, um, I mean, all I've got is is the invoice that um, I sent the buyer. Um, so, I'm going to put that on, and. Um, see how that goes if I can find that let me find that let me pause again all right there we go that took a while to sort out I was saving it as HTML rather than PDF and it was going all over the place um got there in the end uh, any dangerous goods no it didn't now it's asking for my details so let me just go on full screen my, I am a mister and my name is Peter but uh, I'll put in the rest of the details away from the screen um, so just ask for your address select from a drop down da, 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 da. you can get a hard copy of this um, You know, they always have them in the post office. In the event of a successful claim, payment should be made in um, the contact name, I guess. It's either got contact name or company name. I'll be happy with my... Um, my name. Was the item sent to a business or individual? It was an individual. Um, it's asking for the city. And it's put unknown. It's um, it's London actually. So that's handy. E7. Um, how much did you pay for your postage? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, I think it was three pounds. How was the item posted? Post office. Select the best match uh, of the description. It was a parcel. Okay. The location of where it was posted. Oh well, that's on the proof of postage. Um, so it was the cost cutter. Um, Damson Way. Oh, I shouldn't. I shouldn't go on about this. <laughs> I've given away where it was. It doesn't matter. Um, and I'll put the postcode. They, they're normally very good. Although they've spelt Carl Shorten wrong on their um, receipt, they put Carl Shorten. Carl Shorten. Um, right, what was in the item? Oh my goodness. Um, well, there's all sorts of things cash, check, clothing, credit cards, documents, electrical, electronic goods, greeting cards, health, plastic, beauty, jewellery, watches, keys, medication. Music phone videos is all sorts of things, but there's nothing to do with toys. So I'm going to put other. Oh, it says description. Toys. What is the value? I think yeah, it was nine ninety nine. I better just check that. Yeah, nine ninety nine. Description of packaging. Brown padded envelope. Um, where's a bubble mailer? I understand that a false claim compensation could result in criminal uh, prosecution, blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, we'll just see with that and, and see how it goes. Um, I imagine that's going to take a little bit of time. Um, and uh, like I say, it's the first one I've, time I've done one. So um, I'm not expecting it to work, to be honest. 
But if you've ever put in a claim to the Royal Mail, either hard copy or using the online form, um, let me know what you did and, and whether you were like unsure about any bits on it. Um, like I say, it's the, the, the value thing I, I'm not too sure about. So, um, yeah, let me know your thoughts on that. Hermes, again, I've never put in a claim for. I, I think maybe I've been lucky with things. I've been doing this like, four or five years and hardly ever lost anything. Um, I always put my return postage on it. But, um, you know, the, the sender details, I, I write those on, even though they're on my label. I write them on the package anyway, so that's worth doing. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. And my subs are going up and down like a proverbial yo-yo, so um, I'd like to get them moved on. Um, I hope you're having a great whatever day it is today. It's Thursday. Um, but for now, take care and I'll see you soon. See you later.